Welcome to the Physical Science Connection. Today's topic, Measurements in Science, Part 1. Before we can get into the measuring of objects, we first need to look at the International System of Units, or it's called the SI units, or the metric system. Why are we using these units? Well, simply put, it's because it is the common measurement system for everyone throughout the world. The four that we'll take a look at today will be length, volume, mass, and temperature. When you're looking at the length of something, you're trying to find the distance between two points of reference or two objects. The SI unit for this is the meter. In class, we'll use a ruler or a meter stick. When you're looking at volume, you want to find out how much space an object takes up. In class, we'll use a graduated cylinder. The SI unit for this would be the liter. I'm sure you're familiar with milliliter. Then you have mass. The mass is the amount of matter in an object, the stuff that it's made up. And when you want to measure the mass of an object, you use a triple beam balance, for example, in order to find the grams in that object. And then finally, there's temperature. You measure the temperature using a thermometer in order to determine how hot or cold an object is. And we use the Celsius SI unit in order to describe the temperature. Now in part two, we'll look at how to use the lab equipment in order to make measurements for length, mass, and volume. And then in part three, we'll learn how to convert between the different metric units.